permaculture communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 298. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 298, December 9th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to create self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Today, what I want to talk about is permaculture communities. These self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs that I'm talking about are meant to be, or could be, they don't have to be, but ours will be a permaculture community. And it's designed to help others create permaculture communities as well. How are we doing that? Well, we are open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to replicate what you see in the background of this video and so much more. We're creating an evolution of sustainability that includes sustainable approaches to food, energy, and housing, which are the physical foundations of sustainability, as well as highest good and sustainable approaches to fulfilled living practices, uh, highest good economic models, highest good education models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together as the foundation for permaculture communities, cooperative, collaborative, global cooperation of permaculture communities working together to demonstrate conscious and conscientious stewardship of our planet. And that's really what permaculture is. I mean, permaculture is looking at nature and how nature has perfected itself to live in, in, symbio uh, with a, in, a, in a symbiotic relationship with itself, to create balance, to build ecosystems that are self-sustaining, and to replicate that. And so we want to do the same thing with permaculture communities, applying permaculture to all aspects of life, to create ecosystems that are self-sustaining, community ecosystems, food ecosystems, energy ecosystems, you could say. And so these permaculture communities, by open sourcing and free sharing all the aspects for replication, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, fulfilled living models, social architecture, all these things, putting them together and open sourcing and free sharing them so that they can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete permaculture communities or as the complete teacher demonstration community village city or hub. We're doing this so that the idea can spread across the world and so that we, we, perhaps you, can help create a sustainable civilization, civilization that will benefit everybody and everything on this planet. Right now, we're not living sustainably. And so by applying permaculture principles and creating communities dedicated to permaculture principles and living in, in, in cooperation and collaboration with our environment with each other instead of in competition, we think that we can change the world. We can create a world that benefits everybody. We can simultaneously address all the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And so the permaculture communities that we're designing are designed to help create additional permaculture communities as well. Solution models designed to create additional solution creating models. And so the seven different sustainable villages that you see happening in the background of this video as well as our highest good education model, as well as the fulfilled living practices, all these things, everything that we're creating is to create, is to make our models and what it is that we're doing easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate living this way is attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing all those details because that is the easy enough and affordable enough aspect. We believe that if we can tell people and teach people exactly how much it'll cost, exactly how many labor hours it will take, to create what it is that we're creating and then demonstrate it as a better way of living than the way that most people are living right now, then naturally people will gravitate towards it. It becomes something worth investing it dis in. It dispels the mystery and the confusion and it gives people a very clear starting point, a very clear end point, and explains to them exactly everything necessary to get from that starting point to that end point. This is what we're doing. And so... If we can make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. If the idea starts to spread on its own and become self-replicating, 
If you consider, if you run the numbers, 50 people coming together and building one community, which is what we're starting with, 50 people, and then we'll bring on another 50, bringing us to 100. We will build to a permanent population of, well, initially, 400, about 400 people, and then we'll expand to thousands. And in from that, we will host hundreds, then thousands, then tens of thousands, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people annually coming to experience what it is that one community is doing. And if through that process, if in the first year of us starting to build, we can inspire and help two additional communities to start building as well. And us and those two, two communities doing what it is that we're doing, open sourcing and free sharing what it is that we're creating. If we can inspire four more the year after that, and then eight more the year after that, 16 and 32, a doubling process like that, the media attention that it would get, predictably gather, open sourcing and free sharing more and more options, making it easier and easier, refining the process, making materials acquisition and the construction process cheaper and more efficient. All these things working together to stimulate a doubling process as we motivate and inspire others to do what it is that we're doing, to build self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs also. If you work that as a doubling process, we can include the entire population of humanity in 30 years. Now, will it actually work that way? No, and we don't need to include the entire population of humanity. We only need to reach the tipping point of engagement so that we can positively and permanently benefit the lives of everybody on this planet. And that tipping point does not require 100% of humanity. It probably doesn't even require 10% of humanity. Imagine if 5% of humanity was building teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, and spreading this knowledge and open sourcing and free sharing everything that it is that you see in this video and so much more. What impact would that have on the planet? Would it be radically positive? Absolutely. And so this is what one community is doing. And we're an all volunteer organization doing it. We're a nonprofit organization doing that. I'm not paid for anything that we're doing and neither is anybody else on our team. We're creating this because we wanna live this way. We're creating this because we believe that a sustainable civilization is possible. And we're creating this because it makes sense to us to live and create for the highest good of all life on this planet if that's possible. And it is possible. And we wanna make it possible and easier for more and more people. So with that said, Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of permaculture communities and what permaculture communities can do for the world and humanity and all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 27th week volunteering and now helping with the Earthbag Village materials and costs. She worked on the Tropical Atrium cost analysis, making corrections to the material quantities, researching additional materials, and adding materials purchasing URLs. You can see some of this work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued his work helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the Earthbag Village. This week, Guy completed two more second-generation views, including this one of the complete village, and this view looking southwest at the tropical atrium. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 31st week helping with render additions. This week, he finished this final Earth Big Village render, showing a view looking down on the entryway to the tropical atrium. This image is now on the site, too. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 33rd week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week he continued redesigning the support wall to be simpler to design and created new assembly instructions for it. You can see some of this work here. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, joined the team and completed her first week researching the most sustainable toilet options. You can see some of her initial water saving and composting toilet research here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplicable City Center 3D updates. This week, we worked on corrections for the floor thickness and levels, researched new four-panel sliding door options and electric vehicles that can fit through them, updated the social dome second floor court entrance walls, started updating these same walls for the dining dome, 
and removed dining dome windows that conflicted with other elements. You can see some of this work here. The core team also began our final review of the City Center lighting spreadsheet, light placement, symbols, and layers in AutoCAD, and correcting website details for the basement, boiler room, library, and public restrooms. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued developing the Duplicle City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems design page. This week we added new overview imagery for the complete design and finished the rest of the hydraulic calculations section and also completed the reservoir sizing section. You can see some of this work here. And the core team integrated a LEED Professionals detailed review of the City Center LEED lighting tutorial. You can see some of these suggestions here. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 107th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was integration of suggested edits and continuation of adding lights to floor two of all three domes. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey-Ann Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also joined the team and completed their first week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week, they researched initial color palettes, flooring and furniture options, some of which you can see here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also continued updating the Duplical City Center materials and cost details by fixing all the images on the spreadsheet. You can see some of this work here. And James Hergel, student researcher, also joined the team and completed his first week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, carpet, and other building materials by reviewing and taking notes on the LEED Sustainable Building Crediting System with a focus on building design and construction. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we continued researching information on goats, started exploring fencing options, and added details to our aquaculture plans. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his ninth week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for two or more of our top-level food-related pages, the Hoop Houses and Food Forest pages. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Shuber Mittal, software delivery manager, Ashwarya Singh, computer science engineer, Jordan Miller, web developer, and Tyler Calvert, full-stack software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team created code and unit test cases for updating passwords, fixed profile picture bugs, made sure all forms pass into state for time entry, added an ESL INT, an Airbnb style guide, and added all the Git routes to the Redux state. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of creating open source and free shared permaculture communities for the highest good of all life on this planet. 
If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog or visit our website. Everything that we talk about in this video and so much more is there. Uh, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Uh, also, if you'd like to help out, we have a helping page that shows all the different ways to help us accomplishing our mission, to get involved with our project. Of course, the easiest way is to join us on social media, like this video, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so you can get weekly updates that way. Uh, and uh, we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Instagram, did I already say that one, about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible, Twitter, of course, uh, to follow our progress, to share our progress, to access our information. And so join us there if that's something you're interested in. And of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for your support in whatever way that looks uh, like for you. If it's just watching the end, we appreciate that. If it's joining, on, joining us on social media, definitely appreciate that. If you've donated to our project, we certainly appreciate that. We're 100% unpaid staff, including myself. So all donations go towards forwarding our mission and our open source goals, continue to support our website, things like that. So every donation makes a big difference. So thanks if you've donated to us. If you've sent us an email, you've commented on this video or commented on something else we posted, we appreciate that as well. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.